The lightning protection system primarily consists of specialized lightning protection components. Cable, which is routed along the perimeter or ridges of the roof per the architecture and lightning protection standards. Air terminals, commonly known as lightning rods, dependent on the individual structure, are placed in very distinct locations along the cable. And ground terminations, or ground rods, which are buried into the ground. On a flat roof structure, this interconnected system is also routed through the mid-roof areas and bonded to the required rooftop mechanical equipment such as air conditioning units, exhaust fans, plumbing vents, roof drains, and roof ladders. To establish better grounding, a ground counterpoise can be added as part of the lightning protection system. To install this counterpoise, additional cable is buried around the foundation of the structure and connected to the ground rods. This loop increases the surface area to be used for grounding. On buildings with a height greater than 200 feet, an intermediate loop is required per lightning protection standards. This additional loop of cable is attached intermediately or midway between the top of the structure and the ground and is connected to the down leads of the lightning protection system. There are two types of installation of lightning protection systems, concealed and retrofit. For a concealed installation, the cable is hidden within the walls of the structure. A retrofit system is installed on existing structures with components on the outside of the structure. Both types of installation offer the same protection. However, the concealed system can only be installed on new construction. Lightning decides on a target no more than 500 feet prior to striking and does not discriminate on what it strikes. If lightning targets your structure, the system provides a path of least resistance for lightning to reach the ground. The system does not attract or deter lightning, but rather acts as a canopy of protection. Direct strikes are not the only dangerous threat created by lightning. Surges created by distant lightning strikes destroy sensitive electronics and appliances. In order to protect equipment such as networking equipment, servers, computers, telephones, and other media, Surge protection devices, or SPDs, must be installed at the main electrical panel, telephone, and other service entrances. The difference between surge protection and lightning protection is simple. Surge protection shields sensitive electronics internally, while a lightning protection system protects against structural damage externally. Lightning protection also aids in grounding destructive surges. Working together, they reduce the risk of sustaining damage from lightning. A professionally installed lightning protection system is the only recognized method of protecting valuable property from damage caused by lightning. Our designs and installations are code compliant as set forth by the National Fire Protection Association, Underwriters Laboratory Incorporated, and the Lightning Protection Institute. Please contact Bonded Lightning Protection Systems Limited today for your free estimate to bring peace of mind when lightning storms arise.